Hey guys, Jen here. I am doing a two-part video and the reason I'm going to do a two-part video um, is because I've had requests for different things. So I thought maybe I'll just do a two-part video. I'll explain the first part and then I'll do a second part with the finished. So um, I'm, we have on the website um, the supplies uh, to make salve. Um, it, all of the supplies except like your olive oil or if you want to use rice bran oil or if you want to use a more expensive like jojoba oil or something like that. Your carrier oil. Um, I'm assuming most of you guys all have those on hand anyway so I didn't include that in the kit. What we included in the kit is um, your calendula petals, the containers, the neem oil, um, and stuff like that to do your salve. Um, so what you need, people have asked me, how do you infuse oils? How do, how do I infuse oils? What if I, you know, get stuff, herbs or whatever, and I wanna do it tomorrow. I don't wanna wait six weeks. Well, this is how I infuse my oils. I infuse them one day and I can use them the next day. I have an old crock pot. This thing is very old. It's dirty. It has seen better days. It used to be our house crock pot. I purchased a new one a few years ago and I converted this one over to um, business stuff. And mainly all I use, because I don't hot process soap, so mainly really all I use it for is infusing oils. So what I do is I have my, like this is calendula petals in oil. Uh, you can use rice bran oil, like I said, you can use any carrier oil. Um, in here uh, I have olive oil. Um, you can use, I mean it's kind of, looks uh, smoky looking. Um, which is a good thing. This actually, I infuse it and I just leave it like this in the container and I, that's how I do it. Um, I do not discard these after the first use. I'll infuse it two or three times before I change the herb out. I just feel like after the first infusion that it's not, uh, it's not used up. Um, so yeah. I do it a couple of times before I dispose of it and get new oil. So I have my crock pot. Uh, I put, I fill this with my herb, fill it with the oil, put the cap on it. I put it in my crock pot. See, so like here's one that I've pretty much used most of the oil out of it. There's just a teeny tiny bit. Um, so I'll probably infuse this one one more time and then. Um, discard it and change it. Um, you can use lots of different herbs. Uh, you can use lemongrass. You can use St. John's wort. Uh, the main thing people use is the um, the calendula petals. Um, you can use uh, a lot of people pick dandelions and make a dandelion soap. You can do that yourself. Um, so yeah. So this one actually has St. John's wort in it. It's getting pretty low, but I'm just doing this for the purpose of this video. Um, and these are just old mason jars um, that I used from when we were canning. So I would put them in here. I would fill this with water, um, probably three quarters of the way up with water. I turn it on high and it, of course the lid won't fit. So that's why I turn it on high and I put it up and I let it, it's not plugged in, so don't worry about that. Um, I let it infuse overnight. Uh, generally, I try to start it uh, in the morning, and then I let it infuse all day and all night and take it off the next morning. Now, what I do do is I keep an eye on the water level because it will evaporate. If it starts to bubble, you can turn it down on low um, it does not need to be boiling. You just want that really steamy hot water uh, to infuse your oils. And you, so if it, if it would start to bubble, it generally probably would not because you don't have a lid on it. Um, that's why I put it up on high to get it nice and hot. And uh, I take it out the next morning 
and you're ready to go. Really, I mean, you probably could only do it, you know, heating it for like eight hours or something would be sufficient. I have done it in the evening times. I've turned it on, checked the water right before I go to bed, make sure it's good and full, and then the next morning I shut it off. And once it's cooled down, then I use it. Um, I have great success doing it this way, and I think you guys will too. Um, so I'm going to upload this video as part one of this tutorial on how, like this is part one on how to infuse your oils quickly uh, to where you can make something right now. Because a lot of people will tell you, oh, put it in there in the mason jar, put it in your window and come back two months later. Not all of us have two months to wait for something. So uh, we need something right now. We need to get the ball rolling, to, so to speak, you know. So this is how I do it and this is how I have done it for years. Um, and it works amazing. So, heat your water, put your water in here nice and hot, get your, all of your oils and stuff ready in your cannon jars. You definitely wanna use canning jars so, cause, so they can get really hot. Um, and let it go for at least eight hours. Overnight, you know, is fine. And then you are ready to go to make your salve. So, for the tutorial, I'm going to teach you to make a simple salve using um, what we can easily get a hold of, which is calendula petals and neem oil. And so that tutorial will be coming up in the next day as part two. So thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you later.